John Selman was an American outlaw of the Old West. He worked as a cattle rustler, criminal, and sometimes lawman, and was famous for killing one of the West's most well-known outlaws. Selman was born in Arkansas in November of 1839, and when he was 19, his family moved to Texas. A few years later, John's father died, and a 22-year-old Selman joined the Texas Cavalry, fighting as a private in the Civil War. But within 15 months, he had deserted his unit. About a year later, he moved to the Stevens County area, where he enlisted in the Texas State Militia. He briefly worked and was promoted to lieutenant there. On August 17, 1865, he married Edna de Granifred, and they soon had a son, John Jr. Eventually, they had three more children and briefly moved to New Mexico before settling in Fort Griffin, Texas. It was here that he teamed up with Shackelford County Sheriff John Larn. Fort Griffin was a lawless town and was nicknamed Babylon on the Brazos. It was a popular area for outlaws. Shortly after taking the sheriff's position, Larn had entered into a private contract with the local territorial garrison to deliver three head of cattle per day. But Larn had no intention of filling these contracts legally, and when Selman joined him, the pair rustled the cattle from neighboring ranchers. Before long, instead of stopping crimes, Larn and Selman were supervising a loose-knit group of cattle rustlers terrorizing the county. Ranchers soon became aware that while their herds were slowly shrinking, Larn's remained the same. Larn resigned as sheriff in March 1877 and was replaced by Deputy William Kruger. He and Selman then moved to outright cattle rustling. The pair perpetrated several violent acts as they drove off cattle, shot horses, and fired shots at the homes of terrified citizens. A warrant was issued for Larn's arrest in June, and soon Larn was taken to the Fort Griffin jail, where Kruger had the local blacksmith shackle Larn to the floor. The next night, the Tin Hat Brigade stormed the jail and shot him dead. Selman quickly disappeared, landing in Lincoln County, New Mexico. It was there he formed a new gang of outlaws, called Selman Scouts. In September and October 1878, the crew rustled horses and cattle, murdering locals and looting businesses and homes. They were finally stopped when Governor Wallace issued a proclamation threatening martial law. Selman escaped back to Texas, where his wife died a year later. The following year, he was captured by Texas Rangers and taken to Shackelford County to stand trial for his previous crimes. However, he soon escaped and made his way to Chihuahua, Mexico, where he lived until 1888, when the Texas charges were dropped. He once again returned to Texas, where he remarried, allegedly to a 15-year-old girl, and made his living as a gambler, and sometimes as a city constable, in El Paso. On April 5, 1894, he was caught in the crossfire of a gunfight in a local saloon. Defending himself from a drunken Texas Ranger named Bass Outlaw. Selman was put on trial for killing Outlaw, but the judge instructed the jury to find him not guilty. The following year, on August 19, 1865, Selman's son, John Jr., 
arrested John Wesley Hardin's prostitute girlfriend, Beulah Moroz. Hardin confronted Selman Jr., and the two argued. Hardin then went to the Acme Saloon, where he began playing dice. Just a short time later, Selman Sr. followed him into the saloon, and without notice, shot Hardin execution style, and then three more times in the back, killing him. While out on bond, he ran into Deputy Marshal George Scarborough, who had been close friends with another man Selman had killed. In no time, their talk elevated into a dispute, then to an all-out gunfight. In the end, Scarborough shot Selman four times. Selman died on April 6, 1896, and Scarborough was acquitted of murder. John Selman is buried in El Paso's Concordia Cemetery. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments section. And check out some more cool videos linked in the description. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the new video.